Hey, it's Holly. Welcome back to Living It Country. Today, I thought it'd be fun to share with you all before the Christmas festivities begin a home tour of our whole entire farmhouse styled home. So I'm so excited. I've never shared our whole home before. We'll be sharing our DIY laundry room that we just accomplished a few weeks back. Uh, we will be sharing our kids' bedrooms, our bedroom, both of our offices, just the whole home. So I hope it brings inspiration to you all. And I'd also like to take a moment and thank Chatbooks for partnering with us on today's video. And I will talk about them a little bit more, but here's one of my Chatbooks. This is one of my favorites, but I'll share with you guys them through all our home tour today. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. We are starting off today's home tour with an exterior shot of our Cape Cod style home. We absolutely love this floor plan so much, but what we loved a lot was the exterior look. It just looked cute and clean and really simple, which is definitely our style. Now, when you walk into our home, this is the entry way of our home. We have it really simple with just a personalized sign and we love the open concept feel of this whole entire home. To the right is my office, to the left is a playroom slash kind of like lounge area for us. And then of course you have our living room, kitchen and dining room area all together. Now when picking out this floor plan, we wanted everything to be open concept and feel really close since we came from tiny home living in a 400 square foot home to a home that was about 1,800 square feet. Now here's a look into our entryway closet. This is where we store all of the kids' toys and then of course my office area. This is where I do most of my editing and do all of my work in and I just recently um, found these adorable little curtains on Amazon and I thought these look so cute. I ended up getting a matching shower curtain for the kids' bathroom. But everything is very chippy, very white, very shiplap, and definitely my style. So I really, really love this area in my home, and I hope it can inspire you all too. an amazing collection of my chapbooks and chapbooks is amazing. They're the modern way to hold on to the best moments and the best memories in your life. They're really an affordable way to get photos off your phone and right into your hands. It's easy to add, edit, and arrange photos and make beautiful photo books just like this. You can personalize your photo books with custom colors, layouts, cover styles, collages, and captions. And they're known for their amazing quality and they're printed just absolutely beautiful. You guys can get started at just $15 for a 30 page book plus free shipping, which is awesome. They have a really easy to use photo book app that has over 100,000 five star reviews and books are created through the app, which is really, really easy to navigate. You can connect your Instagram and Facebook accounts to your chat books at and get all your pictures right off of your social media, right into your book. It just takes that overwhelming feel of making a scrapbook and it just makes it really easy. And it's a perfect gift for any occasion, but especially with Christmas coming up and gifting those to grandparents, parents is such a great idea. Now, if you guys wanna check out Chatbooks for yourself, click the link below in my description, download the app and get 20% off your first Chatbooks order site-wide with my code HOLIDAY20 at checkout. We're now moving along to the playroom area. And this has been a room that has really transformed the most during our three and a half years of living here. It has gone from little tykes, red, yellow, green, orange, purple, 
um, to something that our kids can just bring their toys in here from their closet and play, put away their toys and bring it out when they need um, to play. And we have found this to be the key to the success of this room and it really maximizes the space by doing so. Now we have our little entryway area and I love this black hutch. This was from a garage sale. I purchased it so many years ago back, I think when we lived in the tiny home and I absolutely love this find. Now we're moving on to the kitchen area and we just recently, probably six months ago, added those little shelves and of course I have um, my antique farmhouse finds right there and I just love this area so much. Our latest project was building that vent hood cover and I absolutely love the way it turned out hiding that vent hood in there. Now we're on to our kitchen area. I love this area and a lot of people ask me if I would go, if I was to go back in time, if I would change our cabinets from green to white. And I still have to say I'm obsessed with this beautiful sage green color. It really, really, I feel like has a dramatic look. And um, I heard that for 2022, green cabinets is the new style, which I thought was pretty cool. Now here's our little dining room area. This is actually a breakfast nook and we didn't feel the need to have three places to eat. So instead we have two and I have my beautiful antique farmhouse chandelier here, which I love so very much. We have a little target mirror and our farmhouse table and chairs with our big, huge candle that we never light. It's just for looks. Now we're going to the living room and this is my favorite space in our home. We actually spend a lot of time in each space in our house. Um, this recently we changed from just a blank wall to a fireplace. And as you can see, my kids were bouncing on the couch right there before filming this video, but nothing can ever be 100% perfect, which I'm totally fine with. Now if you guys wanna see how we transformed this, this huge wall, I'll link our video in the description box below. It's such a fun video. We are now down the hallway where both of our kids' bedrooms are, as well as their bathroom. And we're gonna go take a peek into my little boy Brody's room. He has kind of a, I would say, vintage truck style room. Black and white checkered look and I absolutely love it. And one of the things that I absolutely love about the room is their beddies bedding. I think it's just so, so cute. And as I'm filming this video, they actually have a really awesome deal going on. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I will link that in the description box down below for you guys to check out. My daughter has one too, and we're absolutely obsessed. I love this little piano of my boys. Isn't that cute? Now here we are in the bathroom. We recently just finished this with the shiplap backdrop. We have this beautiful Walmart mirror, Walmart vanity, and you guys can see that beautiful Amazon find of the shower curtain. I just think that's so, so beautiful. Now we're headed into my little girl's bedroom and I absolutely love her room so much. The pink walls with the rainbow wallpaper and the peel and stick shiplap. I just think it's absolutely darling. And she has also got her little Betty's bedding. She actually got a kit that came with all of these cute pillows, which I think is darling. It's got a very boho farmhouse style, which she is absolutely obsessed with. She loves decorating just like I do, which I think is so much fun. Now, this is our little pantry area. This was something that we actually added to the house plan that wasn't originally in here, and we're so happy that we did that. Now, here we are in our brand new laundry room. It was never completed, 
no sink or anything and I'm so, so grateful and so happy with the way it turned out. We use these hooks, it's never this clean, ever. We use these hooks like nobody's business with backpacks, lunches, uh, dance backpacks, swim lesson backpacks, and so much more. And here is my antique farmhouse scale I'm obsessed with. I think it's so darling. And now we are going into our master. This is probably one of the most basic rooms ever. You guys can see my peel and stick beautiful wall planks are still up. I get so many questions about this. I'm still just as obsessed with it as I was three years ago when we installed it. And here's our very simple bathroom. We love it so much. Simplicity has worked very, very well for our family and I kind of tend to be somebody who collects things too much and collects clutter. And so really simplifying things has really helped me mentally and just kind of bring more peace into my life. Now here we are going upstairs. This is my husband's office space. We did this about, I would say, a year ago. He has those pallet wood uh, wall kind of look, just like my son's room. And then this is our garage room that we recently transformed into a fun outdoor gym, which um, I'm so excited to get back into soon. A big thank you to all of you for taking some time out of your day and spending it with me here in my home. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's tour and I'll see you guys later on Living a Country. Bye.